Hey guys, Bushin Church here, and today we will be taking a look on all of my Beyblade, my Beyblade collection. So, let's get right into it. So here's my collection. I have all sorts of base here. Launchers, base, accessories, etc, etc. And now, let's go get right into it. My first play we'll be reviewing is Hazard Curbeus. Has the atomic driver. Pretty good driver, to be honest. And it, the springs here, the gimmick here, is that it nullifies attacks. But then I don't think it really does that because it doesn't really work, to be honest. Okay, second off, you have Dead Hades. Pretty rare Beyblade. Really rare Beyblade. Can't really find this anywhere. Zephyr Dash. Um, turn. And 11. Pretty chunky metal. Mirage Fafnir. 2, 2S, Absorb, pretty cool, literally li um, rubber all around, nice, Excalius, Hasbro, obviously, has metal right here, it was like literally the first Turbo Bay who ha that has metal, I think, and the uh, sword's pretty ruined, to be honest, doesn't have metal, like the Takotomi one. Pretty cool. I put the dag Takotomi Dagger Frame on it. Shelter Regulus. I don't have the original parts because I didn't buy it. And, uh, I bought it off Kajiji. Pretty cool. Um, uh, has Spiral and 8. Not 8 Dash. It's Hasbro, by the way. Obviously not Takotomi. It's way too late to find one. <sighs> Twin Nemesis. Also known as Toy no Twin Noctimus. Has two modes, upper and smash attack. Pretty worn out shaggy. And uh, yeah. Here is Hasbro da Dark Crusher Doom Sizer with the Hunter tip. It's Hunter Sling Shock actually because Hunter Hunter itself is pretty worn out. I'll show you that later. And I also didn't put the frame. I put the Vortex frame on this one because I think it looks cooler, but whatever. Odax, a dual layer bay, one of the least. I don't really have that much dual layer bays in my collection, so. Odax is pretty cool. Nothing to say about it. I actually really, I actually like Dark at Odin more than this. Nice to have a dual layer in my collection. Ace Dragon, unfortunately I spray it. I spray the chip and the layer with it. That's the biggest regret I made in my life. Like, literally, I hate this. I hate the colors. I hope it'll wear out someday. Has it can change into three modes: Ace, Grand, and Rock. Pretty hefty, heavy too. Kinetics of Tomb, Roller Balls, Two, Glaive. I think Glaive. Yeah, Loop. Neutral Bay. Don't really have any complaints, but and uh, has these rollers on it. It has. I actually kind of like connects a two minutes blader Silas. Okay, its color scheme is pretty cool. Turbo Achilles, Dimension Driver is pretty cool. It's I'm kind of neutral about it. Zephyr, I think Zeta is pretty better, but this is the Hasbro bit version, so you know it's not really that. Uh, that I can't really compare it to the Takotomi version because the Takotomi version is way better. Double O, pretty he heavy desk. Burst stoppers here, burst stoppers there, and some others. I mean, the burst stopper is pretty weak, though, to be honest. Like, I can't really compare it to the Takotomi ones. Winning Valkyrie, one of my first bays. First Takotomi base. I, I love this Beyblade, to be honest. It's pretty cool. Uh, Volcanic, I, that the, is what I love the most. 12, I don't really like it because it's so light. And it kind of, like... Breaks Beyblades, but what, what the winning bait the winning layer is really good. Like it has metal all, all over it. It's like it has so much metal all, all on it. And like uh, as Chosie pro progresses, like the releases have lesser and lesser lesser metal. Z Achilles, Emperor Fornius, and Winning Valkyrie or the ones who had the most metal of all the series. Or even in all in burst. Okay. 
Rage Longness. This is my one of my newest bays. I love this Beyblade. It has immense upper attack. I wish we could get Variant Lucifer. But whatever. Two Metal Dragons. Has less metal than Zwei Longness, but whatever. Destroy Josh. Really competitive part. If you want to see it, it's pretty cool. Wait. Free HSE. Okay. Boost and Shinder, one of my favorite Beyblades. Like, I think this Beyblade represents me the, the just presents myself the most because I really like it. I really, I think, yeah, this Beyblade represents me. Like, I feel like I'm its owner. Keep Hurricane, pretty cool. Pretty cool disc when it came out. Like, you could customize it with Tornado Wyvern, it'll make the ultimate free spin. And, uh, yeah, uh, keep, keep not really good, to be honest, like, it, it's so unbalanced, every time, it, and it bursts too, like, every time it's so unbalanced, a bait hits, hits it, and it bursts, that's what happens, at least for my experience, and the teeth are not that actually bad, but then for some reason, it just keeps bursting, I don't know why, um, Rooter, Neutral. I don't really care. It's just a Beyblade. It's it, it's a good Hasbro exclusive. It's a good Hasbro exclusive. Not the best, but it's a good one. I could say you could pretty put better parts on this because twelve is not the best part. And Excel. I think this is Excel. I don't know. It's like Sling Shock. It's not the best part. Like it's not the best. It came out on single layer Valkyrie, but it's not the best part. Like there's way better attack types. Like Destroy Dash. Look, the ones I mentioned. I have a, um, Chosy Valkyrie has metal, as I said before, as the Chosy series progresses, there's less and less metal, and this is a great example. Look at winning Valkyrie, it has so much metal, and you see Chosy Valkyrie, there's only three metal parts here. Like, it's just whatever. Chosy is really meant for have like, a lot of metal, and, uh, doesn't really have that much metal. Okay, Xena, pretty cool, has rubber on it. One of the first discs to have rubber, I think. I'm not that sure though, to be honest. A lot of pe a lot of my stickers peeled off, and I really don't like that. The burst stoppers has has burst stoppers like Turbo Achilles. Um, uh, in fact, he only has one. Turbo Achilles has like two. Had uh, one here and one here. But then like Turbo Electric, I don't know why. But then like Chosy Valkyrie, I, I don't know why. But then it has like only one burst stopper, and that's pretty not efficient. If you want me to open it. It's God. So hard to open. This is what Josie Valkyrie looks like. If you if you're wondering if this works, put it on. It just doesn't really work. It's just for the burst stopper. This is the only burst stopper to be honest. And like these three these two are just there to help have sma slash attack. Or a smash attack. I don't know. Kalzar, I think this Kalzar here. Kalzar, I think this is gonna be a really rare Beyblade. To be honest, I don't know why, but I feel like it. It comes out around the booster of Takotomi, and I'm pretty neutral about it. I actually like its blade, Kurt. It's. I like his backstory, like how it comes and how he used to be one of the best bladers, and like he just disappeared one day, and that really. That really uh, speaks out for a lot of real athletes. Like they, they have like immense power. They're like the one of the best champions or one of the best athletes in the world, and they just quit for no reason. And Kurt is one of those bladers, and I really like that. It's pretty cool. Ragnarok is one of the my favorite. This Ragnarok is one of my favorite Beyblades. Look at this. Look. Okay. So like. It kind of looks like Regalia Genesis, I think. No, not Regalia Genesis. It looks like First Udonis. The color scheme is like First Udonis. It's so like, has white and um, a bit of black from the um, the uh, 2D chassis. Like, it's pretty cool. Okay, why I like this Beyblade so much? It has, because it's so circulatory. It has, it's basically literally like a circle. If I just unassemble this. It's, okay, you can just see that it's basically just a circle. The downside of this Beyblade is that the teeth are horrible, but 
We could just put a dash driver. That saves the day. Anyways, I'll just put this later. Shows this friggin'. I'm gonna put the wall frame on because, like, you know, wall frame. And I actually really like the wall frame, actually, to be honest. I don't, I don't know why people don't like it, but it scrapes a lot. But then you can do dread vertical on this thing, literally. And, like, I think wall, for some reason, I think it really does look like the 2D chassis. It really does. Z um, Zeta. Pretty cool. If you watched... Okay, I need to make a message. If you watch this video all the way to ten to the ten minute mark, you're literally a legend. Thank you so much, bro. Like you watch the whole entire video for ten minutes. Thank you so much, bro. Appreciate it. If you were, if you watched it for ten minutes, please comment down below because I really want to know. And I'll heart. I'll definitely heart it. Chosey's Brigan has burst wings. Zeta Diver. It ha it's not really new. We saw it on Spriggan Requiem. But it's a dash driver, so like it's more customizable too. People, oh yeah, I, I forgot to mention this, but then like people using, um, the volcanic driver in official tournaments are really daring. Like, pretty cool. There, I I don't know who uses volcanic in uh in official tournaments, but I think those people are really daring. If they win, that would be really cool. That would be really nice. Uh, here's Revive Phoenix. You can take off the armor too. It's like literally, it acts some, sometimes it acts like a projectile. If, if you're wondering that this, if this part is free spin, it is not. It's made from a, pretty, uh, from a different material. I don't know, but if, I don't know, but probably it's made out of POM. I'm not 100% sure, but if I'm wrong, please comment down below. Rubber here. In the anime, it does like Phoenix Break and just contacts the rubber, basically destroys everybody. I really like his. I really like Phi. Pretty cool blader. Okay, Emperor Fornius. Emperor Fornius, pretty cool. Um, uh, does not have a little metal. That's the downside. That's just turbo. It's just turbo, and uh, we we saw it coming. To be honest, like putting babe metal on every single Beyblades is a cost. It's like a big cost. And putting launchers too, that's like a big a bigger cost. So Beyblades, Beyblade Star packs would just cost like about twenty dollars. Okay, here is, which is pretty expensive in my book. Here is Orb Aegis. Has Quest Driver. Really like this driver. It's so creative, but it's not really good competitively. It is a really fun driver to play with. But sometimes the the downside of this Beyblade, I don't know if it's me, but then this the thing here. If my camera can zoom, like focus. The thing, okay. Sometimes just quests, quest basically just separates. I don't know why the whole thing just separates. And it just breaks. Quest just breaks. I I I know how to fix it, but then it's pretty annoying. It happens a lot. This is the my first Beyblade I had, Beyblade Burst. This is my first Beyblade I had back in 2016, I think. Or 2000. I don't remember. No, not 2016. Obviously not 2016. 2018. Yeah, this is my first Beyblade. Um. Uh, oh, unfortunately the iron driver is broken, and uh, I used I had to use the Ripfire. But if I get Regalia Genesis, I'll probably use the Ripfire on his. Um, Blast Genius, this is another, we bought these two together in, uh, what was it, Toys, Toys, Toys? Yeah, we bought these two together, pretty cool duo, uh, first time, really like Blast Genius, because his, uh, his, his actor, his, um, his main character is pretty cool, um, uh, Joshua, Joshua Burns, is a, a movie actor. I don't think a lot of people like him though. But then I, I pretty, I kind of like him. I I like how he's in like a movie actor and stars in a lot of movies. And I liked the two episodes where Vault actually was an actor, and like beating the Space Ninjas. It was like a sci-fi movie. I think I think I don't know. But if I if there were, if that actually came out in theaters, I would definitely watch it. Like Vault as the main character, that'd be cool. Brutal Lunar actually, I really do not want to talk about this Beyblade. The Hasbro one, 
has supposed to have metal. Like, no. Because Lo Lost Luinor and Nightmare Luinor had metal, and why does why not why not brutal why not brutal they did they did the same thing with um uh, Hades and Excalius here here's Excalius it had metal right here it was it was even turbo but then for some reason Luinor did not have it I don't know why but then it's just the Hasbro only thing only thing like Luinor is made and known for metal. Just they don't, didn't didn't want to make it. Also, the Chosey version, uh, version of Luinor is pretty disappointing too, because like people thought it would have a lot of metal, a lot of metal, but then they were just deceived. They had that much metal, to be honest. But it had metal, but it didn't have that much. They thought this entire dragon head would be metal, but then just turned out to be plastic, and uh, whatever. Gynon, Isaac's Gynon had a long story with this. I already explained this um in a different video. Isaac's Gynon, one at one hunter. Yeah, this is the hunter that has been worn out really badly, and like basically there's no no rubber left. If I can, yeah, there's literally no rubber left. Once I put it in the stadium, it just wiggles so much and it's just off balance. It doesn't even work. So that's it. Thank you for watching my big- Oh yeah, here's my launcher setup. I really want a bay logger. Like, it's- it is, I could just record my launch power and get bay points. Just doing that would be really, really cool. Getting bay blades with my bay points. And being an anime accurate is really cool. Look at this sweep grip. And here's a- has a dual threat launcher. Really good. I think this is the be one of the best Hasbro launchers in my book. Yeah, let's literally like the LR string launcher, but then it's just Hasbro. But the, the difference is, is that this is more fragile, to be honest. I have a lot of people that broke it really easily by just launching it, using it normally, not even twisting it, just broke. And this is my fake one. I just don't even want to talk about this. Revive Phoenix Launcher, best launcher in the game. Fake launcher. Uh, I guess, and a bunch of other launchers. This is the Dragon Launcher came in. Uh, it's pretty broken. Just broken. Like, literally just broken. Yeah, that's, that's it. I think, thank you for watching. If anyone watched this to the end, you're a legend. Thank you so much. <sighs> thank you. Bye.